Hello YouTube, hello Facebook, hello to my subscribers and friends, no? So today is January 9, no? In the afternoon. And the situation of COVID in the, in the NCR, in the National Capital Region, is still high. And my wife and I are not really going out that often, no? So, mabuti na lang, someone asked me to uh to do a uh, vlog uh dedicated vlog on grand hill no which i think i would oblige talaga because i never thought of vlogging him or dedicating a vlog to him uh, because he's not playing anymore for one uh plus the fact that uh, his cards are already there no Kumbaga, the, the, his prices are already um i think no they are already um peaked in a way no so it's already there it won't go down it won't go up so it's already um stable in a way yung prices niya prices of his cards no but i guess what uh, made me rethink of that is because it's th it's because of the fact that they, someone requested for it it's because of the fact that it's surprising to see a player like him whose peak was not really given enough chance no yung kumbaga it was it's a, it's a, it was a shortened peak not a, not a shortened career but a shortened peak no from 1994 up to about 2000 i think no yun ang peak ni Grant Hill tapos marami pang injuries na dumating sa kanya which derailed his career no but the thing is even though his cards really went down no uh, literally went down much like what happened to Derek Rose no Silang dalawa yung nakikita kong player na ganyan na bumaba ng sobra and then nagkaroon ng another parang surge, no? Not that that so much, no? But it's there. The reason behind that is because of his fans, no? His loyal fans, no? Um, a lot of people who came back in the hobby in the 2000s or 2010s or so um, decided to go back in collecting Grand Hills, no? Um, Those... Oh, those collectors that collected him before, you know, so the karoon ng adjustment ng prices niya tumaas ulit. And to be honest, right now, mataas ang mga ano ni Grant Hill mga cards niya. Not Jordan or Kobe or Shaq or Garnett levels, but it's there, you no. Know? Um, he was named as a Hall of Famer. He was uh, he was uh, given that uh, distinction that he would be he is a hall of famer for basketball as a player no um for one he was a uh, two-time national champion with duke so dapat lang siguro no so there i think that's the reason why he is a hall of famer but ang ang enigma rito talaga is yung pagmamahal ng mga tao sa kanya ng mga fans niya sa kanya na even up to a certain point no na bumagsak ang cards niya kinontinue pa rin nilang kolektahin si Grant Hill which is <coughs> talagang sorry talagang ibang klase no ibang klase ang pagmamahal ng mga fans ni Grant Hill sa kanya um, which i think would which made me rethink uh, my stance of not siguro wag na lang si Grant Hill but tama eh kasi bihira nga as i've mentioned i only know of two players na ganyan na nangyari sa cards nila which is the Grand Hill and Derrick Rose. So Derrick Rose is still playing, you know. So, uh, may chances, chances are, pwede pa tumaas ang card si Derrick Rose. Si Grand Hill dapat hindi na eh. At a certain point, dapat hindi na, but tumaas pa din. That means a lot are collecting him. A lot of people are collecting him and his cards are still in demand. That's it. No? It's, it's still in demand and can you still uh, speculate on Grand Hill? I would assume na konte, but it, his cards won't really go up that much anymore, no. Compared to other players who are still playing, who who or those players who are not yet named into the Hall of Fame. Um, wala Hall of Famer na si Grant Hill, eh. nag, nag Hall of Fame na siya. He's part of that uh, elite group in a way, no. Well, somebody, some would say na it's not an elite group because madali lang pumasok sa bino iba jan. But it's still an elite group for basketball aficionados in a way, no, who love the history of the game. So an example for that, no, papakita ko lang before I go to the cards, no. Itong card na to, uh, someone pulled this in 1996 to 1997, during the time na nirelease to. This is the inaugural autographics from from Skybox. 
So, ito yung unang-una. Ang nangyari dyan, bigla na lang, ano, na, ba, bigla na lang, bigla, tumaas sobra yung card na yan, sobrang uh, hinahanap ng mga tao. When someone pulled this off, I remember this vividly, binenta ka agad ng 40K or 35,000. At that time, that was 1996. That was a big amount, no? Um, ang ginawa ng tao na naka, nakakuha nito, nung nakuha niya yung 35,000, bumili ng dalawang computer setup, no? Which was at that time also expensive. Ngayon, hindi na masyado. Depends on the specs, no? But at that time, even though mababa lang ang specs, mahal yung mga gano'n na magsasetup ka ng computers, no? Ng computer setup, I mean. So, in any case, no, ganun kamahal siya dati. Ngayon, ano na ito, sa akin to, I got this from Peter Chung, no? I remember that, I think. And I bought it for 1,500 or 2,000 pesos, no? Um, I, I'll make a shout out to the, the person who actually suggested or requested for this vlog, no? His name is Michael Jeffrey Uy. And um, thank you, sir, no? Uh, for giving a suggestion and thank you for the support, no? So, I, I I actually don't really oblige on requests that much Especially kung wala naman akong mga cards ng tao Kaya granted, hindi ganun karami yung mga cards ko I never really collected him um, voraciously, you know uh, But meron ako kasi I'm a 90s collector So, meron ako mga Grant Hills I actually, I actually started collecting in 1994 during his rookie season you know? So, uh, doon ako nag-start you know, in Harrison Plaza I was always there. I was I worked with the Standard Chartered Bank as their central bank representative. So I was always in BSP, which was near na Harrison Plaza. Ngayon sarado na yon, no? Everybody knows that. Dudo na ako nagbubukas ng packs for basketball. I can't remember the shop anymore. Uh, but it's in the second floor or something. Um, I was always there uh, na nagbubukas ako ng packs, no, ng, ng basketball. That was my first foray into basketball cards. Uh, my first pull was actually a Hoops uh, Charles Barkley And everybody was looking for either Jason Kidd or Grant Hill Okay, so let's go. Uh, let's start discussing yung mga cards ko na hawak ko ni Grant Hill Let's go So here goes, no? my cards of Grant Hill Kokonti lang to guys, sobrang kokonti lang But before I do that, no, I'd like to uh, just uh, make a shout out to Several of known collectors of Grant Hill Medyo madami no? Compared to other other players As I've mentioned no? Si Brandon Lee, Dan Taytay Attorney Dan Taytay Edward Toldanes, Alvin Redaha And Conrado de Borja de Marcelino no? si, si schoolmate no? So sila yung mga nangungulekta ng Grant Hills no? sa, At saka merong Grant Hill PH Group no? So for those I, have, I haven't mentioned no? sorry, sorry, sorry for that No But yun lang na naaalala ko talaga medyo nagkakaroon na ata rin ako ng Alzheimer's eh. So at saka si ano pala si Michael Jeffrey Uy as I mentioned kanina who actually requested for this or um, suggested this no. So ang una kong papakita sa inyo is his rookie card no. Ayan, ang kanyang rookie card. It's his um, finest no, finest rookie card na PSA 10 no. I don't think that I have the a raw card anymore. I think I sold it na because of this. No, nakuha ko to ko. Nakuha ko to. Uh, I got this. I sold. Um, I I bought this from John John Cueto. So shout out to you, bro. Uh, nakuha ko sa kanya to. Nobody really wanted this card. I don't know why. No, that was in. I can't remember if it was 2015 <coughs> or so. No, sorry. Uh, basta nakuha ko siya for, the, I think, 1,500 pesos. So, so, sabi ko, naka-PSA graded na. So, magkano rin ang papagrade? Magkano rin ang, ang value nito? Dahil it's already, it's a gem. So, I bought it for 1,500, which is surprising na walang naghabol, no? So, nakuha ko siya from him, no? At saka coated to, mid coating yan. Pag with coating, mas mahirap makuha. That's more, it's more a difficult grade, no? Usually, because the coats usually tend to kind of peel off ng konti a little bit, no? When that happens, yung surfaces would uh, take a hit, no? The surface grades would take a hit. That's the problem, no? Ang ng mga may coats, no? That's why usually, when you see a fine, finest the cards, usually if they are graded, they don't have coatings, no? 
So yun, nagbabubble kasi. Sometimes there's a bubble here or so. Sometimes may lagpas, no? Merong extra uh, part ng, ng peel uh, on the edges, no? Which affect the edge grades, no? So, detect, basically, it's a, it's a kind of difficult to find one, no? Nang gan, lalo na at that price. Uh, uh, think about it, it's just $30. So, right now, I checked eBay. Um, those these kinds of cards uh, go for the, with coats no with coating they go for um, roughly around hundred eighty dollars to two hundred dollars right now so it's kind of good to have no yung iba kong cards si Grand Hill like this one uh, Wave of the Future kita ba yeah Wave of the Future um, now from Flair no I also have his Flair RC ito isa isa sa mga uh, sought after during his rookie season, no? Tama ba? Uh, yeah, yeah. It's 1994. It's Wave of the Future. It is a rookie card, no? Rookie insert. I got that from Brandon Lee. Maraming Grant Hills yun, eh. Yan, si Bra Grant Hill din to na parang draft pick from Skybox. If I'm not mistaken, this is a redemption. If I'm not mistaken. So that's also that also came from Brandon Lee as well. Ito muna mga rookies ang pakita natin. Ito Magic's all rookie na foil. No, not a foil. It's a um, parang a chrome version to eh. Ayan. Ng hoops, no? If you could see, ayan, no? So medyo makintab siya. So yan, hoops version ng na parang premium rookie year then. Ay, di ko naalala kung kanino ko nabili yan. So, ito yung isa pa. Ay, hindi. Andito. Hindi na rin ito. So, ito, ito. Ito pala. Rookie year din to Yung uh, jam session. Mga tall boys, no? Medyo malabo lang yung... Yung ano nito. Yung case. Kasi wala tayong mahanap pa yan ang itsura ng kulay niya. So, there. Hindi ko natatanggal din lahat. So, yan yung mga rookie cards ko ni Grand Hill, no? Hindi naman mahal yung mga yan. Uh, unfortunately, itong finest, walang refractor version, eh. So, wala yan, no? So, again, no? Si Grand Hill was picked, uh, ito muna, ito muna ang mga inserts, no? He was picked in 1994, in the 1994 draft, no? Um, dun siya galing, kasama niya si Grand Hill. Ang first pick noon was uh, Glenn Robinson, Big Dog, Si Grant Hill was the third pick, no? But he won the Rookie of the Year, Co-Rookie of the Year with um, Jason Kidd. So, dalawang Rookie of the Year sila noon. So, just watch, much like what happened with Steve Francis and Elton Brand in 1999-2000. So, in any case, ito naman yung meltdown niya. I think 95-96 to. Panahon ni Kevin Garnett. In meltdown na to, it's different, no? Uh, hindi dun sa meltdown na, uh, na simple lang. Ito, nag-holo. Ayan o. Oh, nag-holo frack. Parang hologram. So, this is called uh, meltdown premium. no Yung insert na to. This is, um, how much is it now? It's $25 Beckett. No? Beckett value niya is $25. No? $25 yung Beckett value niya. I don't know how much it ends on eBay. But, uh, yeah, it's $25. But I think it's rare. No, I'm not even sure if it's a redemption. Ito yung sa EX, yung first na EX nila na pinakita, no? O, oh, rookie of the year na kalagay. Kasama dyan si, Gre si Jason Kidd na co-rookie of the year. Kaso, ang Skybox kasi noon is, ano eh, um, is exclusive to Grand Hill. So, napakadami nilang nilalabas sa Grand Hill um, inserts, no? Oh, exclusive siya yun. Ayan siya. So, this was released in 1995. Okay, sa hoops to galing eh, if I'm not mistaken. Yun, NBA hoops nga. No? So, ito yung first foray ng Skybox na ipakita ang yung parang EX technology. No? Ayan. It's, it was rare before. I'm not even sure if this is a rookie card. Eh. Correct me if I'm wrong. No? As I've mentioned, I really don't collect a lot of Grand Hills. No? But kung ano lang yung available, kung anong meron at mura ibinibenta noon, binibili ko. 
So this was uh, uh, from Upper Deck, 9596. Again, rookie year of Kevin Garnett. This is the gold special edition version. This was seeded at um, one per box, but it's quite rare because of the checklist na meron ng Upper Deck at that time. Sobrang dami ng players, no? So, mahal dito at sobra yung Jordan. Sumunod na siguro yung Garnett. Kasi yung Garnett was the rookie year, no? In 95-96, that's his rookie insert or parallel. No? So, yan. Ito naman, 97-90... No, I'm not mister. Nahihilo na talaga ako. 97-98, yeah, tama. Hoops Airlines upgrade, no? Ito yung medyo parang may pagka-acetate siya. So, this is seeded at, I think, one per case. Medyo mahirap to. No, but uh, I got all of those for very cheap, no? Alam niyo noon when I am in all, always in Galleria, what I try to do is just uh, buy cards at or randomly. Eh. Pag wala akong mabili, I try to buy one or two. Uh, kahit na mabab basta mababa lang yung presyo even though other players as long as it's a uh, player that I I was able to watch or historical like Bill Russell and Will Chamberlain for example, no? So in any case, ito naman yung, as I, ito na-discuss ko na kanina, no? During the start of the video. Itong card na to is uh, from 1996-1997, no? Um, itong card na to was the, ano eh, the, the flagship or car flagship carrier for Skybox. Ito talaga yung nag sa kanila eh. Nasa Beckett to, nakikita doon sa magazine na yon. And as I mentioned, everybody wanted to have this card. Uh, lumalabas, it's not as rare as the Steve Nash version and the Pippen version or the George McLeod version, but it was very sought after. No? The condition sensitive tong card na to, madaling mag, uh, ano yan, uh, magkaroon ng shippings on the edges. So, bihira ka makakita ng graded niya. And usually, ang ginagawa lang, pina-authenticate lang yung pirma. Ayan yung stamp to skybox. I don't know if it can be seen. Nakikita ba? Yun, yun, yun na stamp. So this is authentic. It's uh, it's not the blue version. It's just the black version. So medyo nag-turn lang yung ink na you ni ginamit ng violet, no. So as I've mentioned, uh, I'll make a shout out to Peter Chung because I was the uh, for, I bought this card from him back in the day. I think it was 2007, 2006. I can't really remember. It was it's either 2006, 2007, or 2008. I can't remember. But I got this from him. So, uh, isusunod, sorry, dito na lang natin lagay yan. Yung susunod ko papakita is uh, from Panini. No? Maraming pinirmahan si Grant Hill sa Panini. Um, marami talaga. Marami siya na pinirmahan doon. That's why his cards are, his autographs are not that expensive. Siguro you could buy a, uh, a card of him na mga around uh, to, uh, 3 to 5,000 for the low-end ones. Yung mga more rare, yung mas rare, or more, uh, sorry, mga rarer versions. Um, could fetch you around 7,000 to 8, no? Yung mga gold, medyo mataas yun. This is number 249 from Timeless Treasures. Uh, what year is this? 2018, 2018 to 2019. Itong card na to. Ang ganda, diba? So, mababa lang binenta sa akin to. I can't remember who, uh, who I, I got this from. Basta mababa lang to na who I think it's just below a thousand. I don't know. If it's a thousand or so. thousand pesos. <coughs> I'm sorry. So yun ano, yan ang yan ang mga cards ko lang ni Grant Hill. Meron pa ata akong iba, I can't re, I can't find them eh. So ito na lang muna ipapakita ko, no. Um, ang akin lang, no. I just want to inform you, na inform you eh, no. That uh ito pa pala, meron pa pala akong isa na insert, no. That I got at uh, the pack pulled in uh, back in the day. I think 1999 to 2000 to nakuha eh, from Stadium Club no. This is called the Triumvirator 3x3 na um, illuminator. This is the top tier. So this is one per case as well. I don't know how much is it now, but it's gorgeous. Tingnan niyo yan no. I have a few more Grand Hill inserts but I can't find them talaga. Yung iba hindi naman magandang pakita na yung mga nasa binder ito. It came from the binder. Uh, nagulat nga ako na nandu doon. So ayan, no. So itong si Grant Hill, no, for for those who don't know, um had four teams, no, Pistons, Magic, Suns and Clippers. And they wanted Grant Hill when he went to the Magic to do, to Orlando, 
they teamed him up with um, Tracy McGrady and dapat si Duncan so they would have formed a big three there at that time a super team no but uh, Duncan didn't push through he, did, he didn't want to go to Orlando he stayed with the San Antonio Spurs and the rest was history so yung mga teams ni Grant Hill was Pistons, Magic, Suns and Clippers no yun ankle injury niya during the time with him with him uh, with him being as a uh, being in Detroit no um, derailed his career kasi yung ankle injury niya doon he played early before the 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 termination of the rehab so na aggravate yung injury niya so yun na nag reason kung bakit maraming surgeries ni Grant Hill sa paa and he even had a uh, sports hernia so par- he played hurt during his time with uh, most mostly yung magic to the clippers magic suns clippers he really played hurt so ayan no yan ang kwento ni grant hill the one of the most passionate players ever na sayang na sayang ang career no sa na sayang uh, yung longevity nandoon um he, uh, he played for, from 1994 to 2000 I, i'm not mistaken 2000 14 or 2013. But the thing is, hindi parati siyang healthy. He's always out, no? Parang kumbaga, if Charles Barkley is saying that, uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, Anthony Davis is street clothes, you could also refer that to Grant Hill at that time. But the thing is, no? Marami nangungulag ta kay Grant Hill because he is uh, uh, known as a nice guy, no? Maraming may gusto talaga kay Grant Hill. For one, may tsura yan. <laughs> Kaya marami rin talaga kumukuha ng cards niya Even up to now no? Most of my cards are in Pistons I never liked him in Mag- in his stint with Magic With the uh, Orlando Magic With the Suns or the Clippers Kaya karamihan ng cards ko talaga sa kanya Or I think mo, all of them are uh, In a Pist- uh, Detroit Pistons jersey no? So, ayan ang cards ko ni Grant Hill So, uh, naipakita ko sa inyo if you are going to ask me kung pwede pa kayo mangolekta ng Grant Hill, pwede pa. But don't expect his cards to really go up anymore, no? Because uh, his cards would stay the same. Dahil marami pa rin nangolekta, in demand pa rin. Ang maganda lang, it's an easy sell. No? For those who want to to uh, invest, quote-unquote, invest on Grant Hill. So it's a good, very good collection to have, if ever, no? Uh, sorry na ko, konti lang na ipakita ko. But, uh, yan lang ang hawak natin, eh, no? So, Thank you very much for watching. I hope everybody's safe eh, and sound. No, um, Please do subscribe to my channel for those who haven't subscribed yet. And click the bell button down below para uh, you're always updated if ever na meron akong bagong videos. No? So please be careful as I mentioned. So two thumbs up guys. No, And thank you very much for watching and see you again in my, in my next vlogs. Thank you.